What is up my malditos and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot, hot minute since I have filmed this kind of video for you guys and today it is a bougie on a budget video. It has been a hot minute. I think the last time I filmed the bougie on a budget video was a few months back, but I am finally back. I have um, a new collection of accessories, not just bags. Usually I do bags, but this time they are actual high-end accessories. Obviously it's bougie on a budget, so you know. A lot of the pieces that I'm going to be showing you guys today, jewelry-wise, is pretty much pieces that I found at a store here near my house. Usually I would order a lot of these things online, but I accidentally ran into this store. I was like, it's this one, it's like one of those stores that sell like clothes for like five dollars or less or whatever. So I walked in and I looked to my left and I'm like, oh, all these cute accessories. And I look over and in a glass case, this long glass case, they have Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Bulgari, Dior. Um, I can't wait to show it to you guys. It's it's so pretty. It's behind me. There is a mess because I'm going through um, a bit of a remodel of my room. So don't mind that. But anyways, let's get started. I can't wait to show you all of these fabulous pieces. Let's go. The first pieces that I definitely want to show you are Chanel. Now, this Chanel pouch which is super cute which i don't know if chanel actually gives out pouches I never bought anything from chanel um came with this right here crystals inside of them and this is how it would look on my wrist it is so pretty so so pretty okay so this is the bracelet you guys it's absolutely gorgeous so pretty oh it's so all right so this is a beautiful chanel necklace it has this chanel cc with like rhinestones around it and of course this big chanel pendant the only problem that i'm having with this you guys is that it doesn't it doesn't really fit me the way i wish it would you know for a big girl she got a big neck but i like my necklaces to usually like dangle down to like at least right here so i'm gonna find another necklace or at least another like not another chanel necklace but another pendant like a the actual necklace that i can hook that on hook at least this onto this part i don't know what to do with this part i might try my best to find a way to turn it into a bracelet as well we'll see but this is still very very pretty but these two the bracelet and the necklace, they came together and that uh, was about $25 a piece. And I love the girl who sold it to me. She's become like my own personal like friend and a shopper of mine and she is so cool because whenever she gets new products in, she'll like call me and um, I'll head right over girl. The next piece that I definitely want to show you guys are these Chanel earrings right here so we're about fifteen dollars um i love the thickness of the uh, earring itself if you can see that sorry for my busted ass nail guys i think these are really cute thing is though when it comes to earrings i and my skin tone i should say like i prefer isn't that pretty i prefer to wear silver earrings <sighs> just because i don't know i like it it on my skin tone, silver pops more than gold does, so it almost just kind of blends in in a sense and you can't really tell it. And I can say that I'm a pretty flashy person and if I'm going to wear something with a logo on it, I'm going to want it to show. You know what I mean? Lucky for me, I did find these silver Chanel earrings. So as you can see, the Chanel silver earrings, which are a lot thinner um, than the other ones, as you can see, they pop more. So that's why I do love silver jewelry on my skin tone versus <coughs> gold. And I just feel like it just pops more and you can tell like, oh my God, that bitch is a wang. So I'm Chanel. Blah, blah, blah. Moving on to the next brand, which is Louis Vuitton. I am in love with Louis Vuitton as well. I love more so when it comes to Louis Vuitton, I actually like more so of its bags than I do its accessories. The first one that I wanted to show you is this like 
faux leather bracelet with the LV pendant on it. It has like a buckle in the back. This one was $15 as well. I will say that I should have tried this on before I bought it because I feel like it doesn't really fit me all the way. Like it's like the wrist is in order to make this like wearable and movable like it barely closes right there i bought it because i really thought it was super cute but to be honest with you i don't think this is something that i would wear so if anyone that lives if any one of my friends i should say that live here in san diego that would like to take this from me i'm not charging just want to kind of get rid of it don't really care for it much it's cute though just not my style the next Louis Vuitton bracelet is this really, really cute, like, how do I say this? Is this, and this is a bracelet, obviously. Clips on, like so, so you just kind of like hook it back on there. Now this, again, it's gold. They didn't have it in silver, you guys. And that is how it looks on my skin tone, with the gold. But I actually wouldn't mind this because this pops, you know what I mean? And for some reason it just looks good on this, like, I don't know. The bracelet looks good versus the earring that's gold. I think it's a really fun summer kind of jewelry wear or something like that, you know? The last Louis Vuitton set that I have is this one right here. It is so cute. It, this is a bracelet, two earrings, and a necklace pendant. But unfortunately, I don't know where the chain went. I think I dropped it somewhere and I cannot find it. So I'm going to have to find a new pendant because this this i will wear for sure this is so cute these ne earrings i've tried them on they are way too big like they kind of sort of dangle on my earring i mean my ears excuse me and then this one right here i love this it's so pretty let me show you guys how this bracelet works this louis vuitton gold bracelet with a bit of rhinestones on the on the well, on the louis vuitton um it opens up like this it's like a cuff. Super cute, super lightweight. You don't really feel like there's much on it. Very, very like elegant looking. Now, I don't know if any of these pieces Louis Vuitton actually sells like for real, for real, or Chanel or these other brands that I'm about to show you. I don't know, but all I do know is that it's cute, it's cheap, affordable. The set right now, this set costs about $35. Not bad at all. Look at that. That's really cute. Another bracelet that I have uh, is a Gucci bracelet. I don't care for Gucci much. I care. I like their bags more so than I like anything else really, but I bought this in, in honor of my dog. It's this little chain linked bracelet. It says Gucci on it. Like it, like it. This was about $25. It's not bad. It's really cute. There's no, <clears throat> there's no crystals in them or anything like that. It's just a pretty simple, you know, manly bracelet. And then, of course, I have my Cartier bracelet right here that I have been wearing religiously because it just, I don't know, I just love it. One day I'll buy the real stuff, guys, someday. Yeah. It reminds me of, well, um, obviously the real Cartier bracelet, right? Right? Okay. Last but not least, when it comes to the accessories, you guys, I did end up finding these bad boys. These are the Versace Shield sunglasses. Um, I will put a... I'll put a little picture right up here with the actual price versus how much I actually bought these for. These are white. Um, I think I can totally rock these. I like them. So one of the things that she was also trying to sell me on and I got it. I was like, you know what? Winter is coming. Winter is coming, Jon Snow. So I went ahead and bought myself a beanie and I thought it was really, really cute. So I was like, I've got to buy it. It is this Dior, Christian Dior beanie and I got this for $25 as well. Yeah, this adds up. This added up. But I didn't buy this all in one day. Let's just... Hold on now. Hold on. I'm not gonna put it on because I just did my hair and I have to go somewhere and I don't want to mess it up. I haven't worn it. I haven't gotten to like really like use it or anything like that because it hasn't... I don't really go do anything out at night. Oh my god. 
that really scared me. I'm filming right in front of my window <clears throat> because that's where I'm laying everything out on my dresser. And I'm looking out the window and I saw this white, what I thought was my, my dog. And I was like, what the hell is my dog doing out there? So I, I ran out. It's not my dog, thank God. I don't know if Christian Dior has an actual beanie, but who cares? So I'm, I will still rock all of this. I don't care. Whatever. I paid for it. I'm wearing it. Doesn't matter, fake or not. I don't care. Okay. Okay, so the next items that I wanted to show you, I have to bring you down, all right, are a bunch of scarves with Chanel and I believe Louis Vuitton. So let me get started with showing you all of these fabulous scarves. The first one is Chanel. How cute is this? How pretty is that? And it's obviously it's fake, right? But it feels like chiffon, like faux chiffon, you know? I would pretty much wear this like this how cute is that it this this is seriously a cute like winter moment you're gonna go grab coffee in the morning with some friends or something this is pretty cash I like this a lot what if I did it with this blazer right like an all black outfit and then I have the scarf the Chanel scarf <gasps> How pretty, uh, black jeans or black um, slacks, like some good winter boots. Oh my God, you guys. The next one that I wanted to show you guys is the Louis Vuitton. How pretty is this? Can you guys see that? It's so pretty. This is really pretty too. I love the fun pop-up colors on this. Also, same fabric as the Chanel one. Um, the what does it look like in the back? Stupid. So the next one that I have is this Louis Vuitton one. Super pretty as well. Still, I feel like the Chanel one can go with anything. I could actually probably use this, like putting it on my bed and making it like, you know, a centerpiece on the bed or something like that. That's really cute too. Uh -huh. You like that idea? I think you do. So this is the next Louis Vuitton one that I have. It's very, very, very pretty, but I don't know if I could rock this one. Would I actually work the rock, rock this outside? Probably, but the outfit's got to like... All of these scarves, you, they have to actually match. Now, it is actually nice to maybe just throw this around while you're watching t TV or something. It's pretty nice and warm, you know, watching a little movie or something. I don't know, I like it. I really think that this is super cute. The last scarf that I have, let me see how this is supposed to open up for you guys. Is that like this? You see it? I hope you guys can see the pattern very well. Sorry guys. It's been a while since I filmed a bougie on a budget. I forgot how to film it. Yeah, isn't that pretty? It's pretty. This one, I definitely think you can rock this at any given time as well. The, the whole pattern of it is just so fun. I love this a lot. But so far, you guys, overall, I would say that my Chanel, Chanel, my belle is the ultimate one. I think I'm gonna rock this tonight. I think this, this would be cute. I am going to the movies just to sit there. The theater could be cold and freezing and I'm like, oh, I have a blind coat. Wrapped in Chanel. With that said, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. That would help me out a lot. And pressing that like button and that notification button so that you guys will be notified every time I post a new video. Congratulations to the winner. Don't forget, the, the entire rest of this year, I will be posting the winners of all of the $100 giveaways. So all you have to do is continue to be subscribed to my channel or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because I think throughout the entire entire rest of 2022 i will be doing a 100 dollars giveaway and also also and the winner will be announced every friday videos cool cool i am back to making videos you guys kickball season is done 
I'm not playing sports for a while, so that's that's great. I am excited because I'm bringing a new sport back, but I'm going to get into that later because it's a sport that I played for a long time, but that's not what this video is about. It's not about sports, okay? Again, you guys, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Boom. Bye.